locker room. He's there with Jeremy Lin. Jeremy, this was competitive all the way throughout. Do you think maybe the beginning of the third quarter kind of cost you this when you gave up that one little run to them? Yeah, I mean, it's tough to blame a, a game on, uh, you know, the first four minutes of the third quarter. Um, it didn't help us, but I think uh, we had our chances down the stretch. And, um, you know, I thought we, you know, missed a couple shots, didn't get a couple stops. You know, I had a costly turnover. Um, you know, uh, I think I think everybody on the floor, if they could, if they go back into the fourth quarter, there's probably one play that, well, at least one play for each player that they probably wanted to take back. On the uh, on the play where you tried to throw the ball down to West, did you think he had Mo Williams sealed? Yeah, I thought I thought he had him sealed, and um, you know, uh, Keep Gilchrist was all over me, and I couldn't really see um, exactly. Um, I mean, I could see him, but I couldn't see as clearly, and so I just tried to throw it up and over, and I think. Uh, uh, he got pushed. He got pushed underneath further than I had thought. And it's tempting because Wes is such a good jumper that that you might be able to get away with something like that. Um, you mentioned that it, a few things down the stretch may have decided it. Um, that was kind of like a boxing match. You guys were hitting each other, and it was kind of going to be who was standing less. What do you think put them over the top? Um, you know, I thought that they um, they got a few uh, pretty good stops and. Um, I thought, you know, at the end they executed to, to get the shots that they really wanted and needed. And, um, you know, some of them hit tough shots. You know, Mo Williams hit a tough three. Uh, Joe Henderson hit a tough pull up. Um, and, uh, you know, at the, at, when it's that close, it's just a game of, you know, one mistake here and one good play on their part. And it, it, that, that might be just a, the gap that they need. You've been the best player on this team since the All-Star play, uh, break. You're really playing well. Why do you think that is? What, why is your game kind of opened up as much as it has since the break? Um, I'm not sure. Um, you know, I think uh, there's, like I said, you know, I feel like I've, uh, sorry if I'm repeating myself, um, but I just, you know, think there's many, many factors that factor into it. And, um, you know, sometimes things work out the way that you want and um, there's a lot of moving pieces and, uh, right now, I feel uh, pretty good, and the team um, is playing in a way that is uh, very helpful for me. And um, coach is letting me go a little bit more. And um, there, and then you know, I'm trying to stay aggressive. I'm trying to you know find my rhythm and get to the baskets. And uh, you know, I don't know. There's a lot of things, right? And so, uh, but the, my main thing is I'm just thankful. Um, yeah. Um, last thing for you, Jeremy. Um, Miami's kind of loaded up on guards. They've got Dragic now. They got Wade. They got Chalmers. What's the challenge going into their place and trying to beat the Heat? Um, you just gotta attack them. You know, uh, you know that's a tough place to win in, and uh, you gotta attack them from the get go. And uh, um, especially after a loss like tonight, we gotta go in there and just uh, we gotta be the aggressor. You know, I feel like a lot of times we get punched and then we try to retaliate or we try to put, play an uphill battle, and uh, you know that's tough. Um, that's, that's tough. It wears on you um, in terms of. You got to you got to play pretty well down the stretch, but uh, again tonight we had our chance, and tomorrow let's you know hopefully we don't put ourselves in that position. Really appreciate you talking. Thanks. Yep. There's Jeremy Lin, guys. Back to you. All right, thank you. You know we were mentioning the good game by, by Carlos Boozer. Uh, let's talk Jordan Hill. I mean he 